Now folks, you gotta come over for the Halloween table, our Halloween special. This is all we do for Halloween, but it's gonna be a doozy. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Guys, thanks for coming by. Check it out. We're gonna do the Transylvania Castle table for Halloween. Let's see what I'm gonna use today. Now we're gonna be a little different. I'm not gonna show everything up front like I usually do, but I'm gonna show you the basics of what I'm gonna use. Alrighty guys, first we have a black linen tablecloth and 160 inches for this table setting. And we have black and white with gold chargers. You saw in a haul when I picked them up from Amazon. They'll be linked in the description box. Also, pressed glass in a starburst finish by Gibson of Malaysia. A wonderful tall stem glass for water and a crystal stem glass by Darks of France. We have an incredible cast iron fruit bowl in the trophy style. We're gonna have apples in there. We've got some really neat old scary dark academia kind of books and an old collection to keep the evil spirits away. A wonderful bronze trophy style vase. I'm gonna do a quick centerpiece with some very odd, unusual, and not really overly glorious floral bouquet. Very different, very dreary and castle-like quite Transylvania-like. And this covered urn and a teapot that fits our decor today by Mark Roberts. Let's get on this table. To center this big table, I've got a gold medallion in the middle. That's gonna be what I key off of to get everything nice and even on here. In the store, when I looked at these, I thought they were gorgeous. When I got them home, I thought these are so tough. <laughs> I'm not sure what season to use them in. They're dark and I thought, now I know where I can use these. In a castle, in a scenario like this, we're not gonna be bright and cheery. That's the thinking here. So we've got giant dahlia and roses in a wonderful kind of a brandy wine color. Not too loud, not too bright. Check it out guys. Then we're gonna tone it down for our season with some spent rose hips. Thought they'd look kind of spooky in there. So I thought this would be slightly dark academia. And the deer antler 
lotus pods from the Nile. And he could be a little baby. Or he might be taxidermy. Okay. <laughs> There's our centerpiece for this table. Okay, this is our high point, our focal point, and then I want to build the centerpiece off of this point. We're going to split up the books because there's not a lot of company here in Transylvania. We're going to have plenty of dark academia books to read in here as well. We'll do some fruit. I like using different apples. So we're going to split up our table with things that we would need for dinner. Now I've got black and white chargers. Obviously, we're going to go every other one. Oh, we'll bring in some of the candles. And you got to wax them in. They're small. These taper candles are small today. Got to wax them in. All these holders are bigger than what the candle is. We've got some Cape Cod holders. How about that color candle? <laughs> Would that be your first choice? I don't think so. Speaking of choice, I've taken these wonderful 100% cotton in this elegant deep burgundy red. So I'm going to catch that up and then we're going to do some silverware. This is starting to look busy, but I think amazing. Now we're going to be bringing in some more center pieces too. Okay, we continue to add to our table. We've got a mortar and pestle. More alchemy bottles for those crucial tests later. We got a sugar bowl. So sweet. Absolute early vintage, almost antique. And I wanted to point out our proper folded and rolled napkin and the joint of the roll we're going to put away from the seating. Okay guys, we're almost there. Ready to take you and show you all around. But I've got to add my sacred scarab, my good luck, ancient runes from my forefathers. We'll get them in place. Just lucky moonstones and good luck stones to put out. There we go, wonderful. Feel much better about this table. I'm going to check it out. And it's buffet over here. We're going to see that in just a second. Now let's see our Transylvanian castle table tonight.
all the creatures want to come out for the celebration. We have apothecary jars. We have steampunk. We have a lucky scarab. And a bronze. Earn. How about some lady fingers? Fox and Hound Picture by Minton. Gotta have a little taxidermy. in the dark academia style. Here, in the Carpathian Mountains. There's limited electricity, so you need a lot of candles. We have magic lamps, ravens, Alchemy books. And magic ancestral runes. To only let the good spirits in. This is a cool added touch now. Good luck if anybody has this. This is a real wine from Romania. This particular one is 26 years old. Don't forget the buffet now. We'll have one last word from our host.
So folks, hopefully you liked our Transylvania table today. And as your host, I must admit, I have not quite been myself lately since I started doing this table for you. But for all the creatures of the night, I would like to invite you over for dinner, especially those of you that might be in really good taste. <laughs> Do women really wear these? I could never, never. Welcome 